Oh, good day, folks. I've got a parcel. Time to open it. I know what it is, but you don't know what it is, but I will show you what it is. I know, I know, I know, I can't help myself. But it's to make my life a little bit easier. And I'll explain why but when we get it open. Pretty big, but stuffing way. <laughs> uh oh, nearly knocked that off. Struggle Street. <laughs> Nothing sucks me out at all. It don't matter as long as I get it, get it done. Let's see what we got here. A lot of styrofoam. I wish they wouldn't use that garbage. It's hard to get rid of. Now then, here we go, here we go, here we go. I can tell you one thing, it's 3,000 watts. We've got two 40 volts, two, two. 220, 240 volts here in Australia. The Americans have got 110 volts. They get the same machine as us, but they only get 1600 watts. And one guy measured it and it was only 1300 watts with their power. It's crap. They're supposed to be bigger and better of everything, but I don't think they are with the electricity grid. Uh, most of Europe and most of Asia are 240, 250. And, or 220, 250, something like that. And uh, this is 3000 watts. It's pretty powerful. But I'll show you what it is in a minute. And then I shall also tell you why I have it. Now, actually, uh, I'm going to move it and I'll re reposition the camera. Got a bit of cleaning to do. So, if I reposition the camera over here, you should be, you should be able to check it out there. This is, this is where I'm going to have to use it. It is. It is a flat top griddle, or grill as we would call it. And it comes oiled. And with this one, it is iron. Everything's stainless steel except the plate which is iron and um, I think it's carbon, carbon steel. That's what a few people on the internet have been saying. It's, it, it's, uh, it's not like the frying pan stuff. Uh, it's, it's, 
It's carbon steel. Now, I'm going to clean it up. You use soap and water and then you've got to oil it. Then, I have to uh, see, season it like you do uh, your frying pans. And this is a, this is a carbon steel pan. That's a carbon steel pan. It come the same colour as that when I got it. That's how you want it because that now is non-stick and nothing sticks in that. Believe me. So there'll be people saying, I'm sure. What you get that for? Well, I'll tell you why. Because I've been to cook outside a lot, where most of my big stuff is. I can't keep my eye on Daryl. But with this up here, I can... I mean, I won't leave it on there. It's going to be stored away and I'll bring it in when I need it. And it won't be probably used every day, but it will for a while. <laughs> till I get used to using it. Because I've never used one like this before. And uh, this is their ladies model, and it's got the uh, grease back there. And they give you some goodies with it, but these are crap. I've got my own. Uh, but I suppose it's got the um, where you clean it off and you. you yeah, a little hole there where it all goes down, just like they have in the restaurants or in the cafes or on the takeaways. You get two spatulas, a bit pissy little, and you get two pasting brushes. There we are, right? And you get uh, a manual. You know what I do with manuals? like most blokes do but I don't throw it away just in case <laughs> I know I'm a bloke we're all the same well most of us are you get the odd one who uh, does everything right and good luck to him <laughs> I'm not one of them all right I'll bring you back when I'm ready to uh, show you what's it I'm gonna I'm gonna season it first and then I'm gonna put a pile of onions on to finish the seasoning off which I will probably toss away uh, when they finish all right catch you in a bit okay folks that's all cleaned off I uh, washed it out with a uh, soap with, with this is the best washing up liquid of all time that dawn ultra i get it from costco and it shifts any grease doesn't matter what it is right so that's that now what i've got to do now i've got to put it on to about 250 and then we'll start seasoning it and then i'll put it on full which goes up to uh well, at least 300, but I think it'll get a bit higher than that, which is uh, 572 degrees Fahrenheit. It's got both the uh, got both the um, Fahrenheit and uh, Celsius on the thing. Now that top's nice and clean. When it gets starts getting hot. It will uh, start discolouring like my black pan. And then we have to, uh, I'm going to use grapeseed oil because that's a high smoke content. And uh, we'll see how we go from there. So I'll bring you back when I start doing that. I've just got to let it warm up now. It could take 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, see you in a bit.
Okay, folks. As you can see, I've started seasoning. It's changing colour. It's exactly what I want. Now there's the uh, alarm. I'll have to go and turn that off in a minute, but we'll just have to bear with it while I do this little bit of video. Oh, aren't they sensitive? And there's not a lot of smoke coming. I've had worse smoke than this cooking a steak. You've got to oil it till the, uh, keep it on hot till it stops smoking, then you've got to do it again. I've got to do it five or six times. I'll bring you back at the end. Okay, folks. The seasoning's done. I've, did, I've done six coats. This is the cool end of the, uh, the appliance. That's the very hot end, and that's not quite as hot. So you've got three zones, and uh, I'm going to... I'm going to put some onions on now to finish the seasoning off. Literally a little soccer. Especially in the corners there, this is where we want to get it seasoned, where it's, it's a bit cooler, it doesn't get as hot. So, unfortunately, there's about five or six onions here, well, four or five on it, big ones, uh, that will be probably thrown away. But, it's a small price to pay to get a good season, and, uh, be able to cook an egg without it sticking. I've been into this seasoning with pans for quite a few years now and I've, I've, I've definitely done it right. Here we go, oh, I can't help myself can I? I lost a bit on the floor, but that don't matter. I'll pick it up. This is coming good too. What do they call it? Teriyaki or something? When they they fancy Japanese do all sorts of things with them. Drummers can't help themselves, can they? You want to see my steering wheel? That's a good drum. Well, there we go, folks. Another fine mess I've gotten me into. Just leave that on there for a, a, a little bit to see if we can get a bit more colour on that side. Doesn't matter, it's still seasoned. But it's nice if it's all the same colour, but it's probably not going to be. Now tonight, I've been tossing up whether to do uh, a chicken fried rice. No sauce or special chicken cook, just chunks of chicken in a fried rice. Or whether to do a smash burger. I might do the smash burgers tomorrow. I might do the chicken, uh, my son said do the, do the rice, but yeah, I've got to cook the rice and let that cool off in the freezer, in the fridge, and uh, the shame about these onions, we'll go on that back wall where that needs to a little bit more attention. 
Now, the thing is, the more you use it, the more you use it, the more seasoned it gets. Like my pans have gone jet black. And they were the same as colour as this when, when I got them. And I looked at them and I thought, oh my God, what am I going to do now? So I, I went on the internet. And that's what the internet's for, isn't it? It's really good. You can just about learn anything on the internet these days. Tell me I'm not happy with this. But I haven't eaten anything off it yet. We've just cooked on it. And I'm going to turn it off. And I'll bring you back in a bit when I start cooking tonight for tea. Hopefully. We'll see. <laughs> We've got three onions left. I usually buy 10 kilos at a time, but uh, they've been that piddly little things and I won't buy them. They've got to be at least, at least a decent size. For me, the one to buy them. I'm from Gatton, where they used to grow them. And we never had piddly little onions when I lived up there till I come down down to Sydney for some reason or other. The potatoes are the same. I know I'm whinging, but it is ridiculous. Why? I've had this argument with guys in fruit shops and I, get, I don't buy from Coles and Woolies. I buy from a fruit shop to get me fruit. And I've had arguments with them. Just use more onions. Why peel five onions when I can peel one? That's my argument. If you want to come round and peel them for me, fine. Nobody's taken that up yet. <laughs> I'll catch you in a bit. I'm whinging again. I'm whinging pom. All right. See, see you soon.